So, 9-11 conspiracy theorists get a little bit confused about uh, what happens when a plane hits something. They like to compare other plane crashes, more ordinary plane crashes, to the crashes of uh, the World Trade Center and the Shanksville crash. Now, these crashes are very different because most crashes happen when a plane is either trying to land or it's trying to take off, or it's trying to land because it's run out of fuel and doesn't have any power. So these crashes are normally at very slow speed. Now when a plane comes in to land, it comes in and goes parallel to the ground until it slows down enough to stop. When a plane crashes when it's trying to land, it's usually because it goes a bit too slow or it goes a, bit, a little bit too fast and it just can't maintain control and eventually something hits the ground in a way that's not intended and the plane will tumble over. Now we could simulate this with this by like throwing a plane around, but planes, model planes of this size, about two inches, are incredibly strong, so we have to find some different analog that we can use instead. And what I decided to use was an egg. Eggs are reasonably strong, you can uh, roll them around, you can, you can drop them from a few inches onto a, a normal surface, and they won't break, they're fairly strong. Uh, but if I throw them against the wall, obviously it's going to smash. So I'm going to do three experiments. I'm going to drop it uh, onto a concrete surface from a, uh, a high altitude. I'm going to try the equivalent of uh, landing a plane, crash landing a plane, by bringing it in like this at uh, an uncontrollable trajectory. I'm going to try dropping it into a softer medium, which is uh, some cat litter I have in the box here. See what happens there. And I'm going to try dropping it onto a grid, a uh, metal grid that I have it's just a couple of uh, quarter-inch metal square grids. So we'll see what happens when we drop that on, onto it from a high uh, altitude. Now, it's the same as really as going very fast sideways, going very fast down. The result is the same, so it's just a, an easy way of getting a consistent velocity. So let's see what happens. So here we have the equivalent of a low-speed plane crash. And as you can see, the end result, large pieces of egg, but yeah, obviously the plane has crashed. Test two, onto concrete from above. And much more disintegration here. Compare that to this. Test three, into the cat litter. Obviously did not break. And this experiment is into a wire mesh. You always have to be careful when you use scale models to demonstrate things. Since a lot of misunderstanding of physics in the conspiracy world has to do with scale, there's a significant risk of increasing that confusion. Obviously an egg is a very poor scale model of a plane, but in all scale models we have to have trade-offs. Here I wanted something that was both heavy and strong enough to withstand quite a bit of force, but would also break under stronger impacts. The egg works fine for this even though it's wrong in many other ways. The model plane would not work at all, as the scale is thousands of times too strong. What we are demonstrating here is that different circumstances lead to different results. A low speed shallow crash breaks the egg open, but the shell is largely intact. A high speed steep angle crash breaks the shell into much smaller pieces which are ejected long distances. A high speed steep impact into gravel also shatters the shell into small pieces, but the result is more constrained in a crater. Hitting a surface with holes in it allows some of the egg to pass through. Remember these are not meant to be exact recreations of the 9-11 impacts. They just serve to illustrate the types of differences in circumstances you should be looking at, and some of the types of differences in the end results. So by all means compare other plane crashes to the 9-11 crashes, but make sure you always consider the differences. How fast is the plane going? What did it hit? And at what angle? Different circumstances lead to different results.